What's up, you beautiful pastors? It's your boy, Creeper Dude, back at it again with another video. And guys, today we got the episode 2 to the Watch Dogs Remote Access uh, episodic uh, s uh, series, man. Where Ubisoft gives us insight about Watch Dogs 2 and why we should pull our wallets out of our asses and just, you know, uh, just shut up and give them our money. Yeah, episode 2 is about dead second hacking. If you want to check out the first one, I'll have a uh, link in the description to where I did the breakdown of the first episode, which was Marcus and dead sec yeah leave you guys to watch the trailer now and i will see you guys at the end of the video with the breakdown your freedoms can only be protected if democracy thrives join us we are dead sec the motivation we were interested in for our main character and for the DeadSec crew is hacktivism. DeadSec has always been a hacker group that was trying to achieve social objectives. That's central to what our characters are trying to achieve in the game. Hacktivism is something very present in the hacker culture. They want to expose some information they're the only ones having access to. Each character, like Marcus, like Ranch, Satara, they all represent a way to question how things should be. In this world of hyper-technology, where it's getting so complicated and it's really hard to keep pace, and it's even harder to understand what's within technology, they're the only ones that can basically safeguard our daily lives, our security, our privacy. All the corporations that you can find in Watch Dogs 2 and in Watch Dogs in general are already existing in the world. There's nothing we invented. That sec is there to expose questionable practices that they see happen in the system. You can tell that there's a completely new type of economy going on called information, and that becomes an interesting way to explore our relationship with technology. We wanted to treat with respect our subject matter, and for that we needed help. Hackers are really open, that they share the information. We had a lot of help from the community itself. A hacker is no longer associated with somebody that's uh, in his basement, like with the, the dark mood behind his laptop and just trying to break out like a, a firewall or something like that. It's way more larger right now. The hacker culture is like a, a collection of subculture all gathering together. We're working with really smart consultant hackers who validate all our scripts, all of our gameplay mechanics, and suggest to us how we can tweak them to make them match what's possible in the real world. And it goes as far as, you know, what kind of script could be used, what kind of words should be used, how various characters should talk about it, and how it would actually be possible to do those things in the real world. One element that was super important for us, for uh, the new visual of DeadSec, it was to really embrace the hacker culture. Also the maker aspect of the hacking culture, just like the mask of the wrench, really embraces the DIY aspect. It's all tied together. We really got inspired by the animated GIF culture, the same treatment that we have with the dittering, uh, all the glitch art. We tapped into all the horror pulp from the cartoons from the late 40s. And we really wanted to bring that to the already mysterious and cryptic feeling of Dead Sex. So it's using pop culture elements to the mix and just bring a little bit more fun and colors and attitude to it. Yes, it talks about hacking and technology, but it's also fun. And we wanted to create uh, you know, a game where even though we're talking about serious topics, we're not taking ourselves too seriously. And that's a bit in the nature of uh, the Dead Sex crew also. They always try to have fun, even though they're dealing with really uh, dire situations. Hacking is all about this ability to think outside the box because you see the possibility that goes beyond the preconceived rules. It's about having ideas. When the player is going to grab the controller, the more he's going to understand how these things work, he's going to start having ideas. And that's what a hacker have ideas on how to fix stuff, break stuff, or mess around with it. The state of mind of Watchdog is simply educating people and at the same time having fun with it. These connections can create pretty fun mechanics and uh, that's why we're here for and that's why we chose that subject matters because not only it's interesting and it's relevant but it's also pretty fun to mess around with. I'm interested in, in hackers saying that we've respected the culture that we're exploring but you know I'm mostly interested in them saying they had fun playing the game.
Hey, uh, can you bring that ass here? Yeah, guys, this uh, second remote access actually brought us a lot of uh, information, not so much gameplay. Like the first remote access they released uh, two weeks back, so we don't have any, you know, people questioning, yo, is this shit gonna be in the game, or are you guys just giving us DLC? Shut the fuck up. This is mainly focused about DeadSec and hacking, and how it's drastically changed from Watch Dogs 1, and uh, I'm really starting to feel for this game they're really taking community feedback into factor and they're really like holy shit we really screwed up in hacking in the first game they're actually doing a lot of you know good uh, techniques to get this game done right and i'm really on their side for this one i'm totally 100 percent there is going to be a downgrade from e3's uh, shit man that that's just an ongoing ubisoft thing i call it out right now it is going to be a downgrade from e3's graphics or whatever but creeper dude who the fuck gives a shit about the graphics man your mom all right that's why she disowned you <laughs> uh, the motivation of the dead set crew and the main character marcus holloway is briefly stated on and their motive is hacktivism basically getting information and they can get out to the public and you know just trying to fight uh, oppression I guess you could say and just expose uh, bad people like Bloom Corp in this case in the Watch Dogs series where Bloom Corp of the CTOS 2.0 which is the central operating system and that you know controls everything and has access to everything and so uh, people are you know like yo technology is cool man and basically what they're saying is that you know people are not uh, really safe with their uh, information and you know the, how information is really valuable and they even said this shit is not just made up in the game it is actually the real world based you know uh, most of the hacking and you know just the motive of DeadSec and one thing I thought was really cool and people were getting confused on is that yo is this DeadSec just these few guys right here got a confirmation when this trailer dropped that this is just the core of DeadSec in San Francisco so that means there's more of DeadSec all around the world uh, possibly in different areas you know doing other things and the game is just focusing on you know San Francisco and the DeadSec crew over there and they also go over how they actually for the game got hackers like real world hackers help with the dialogue and things to hack and features and what kind of hacking you can do in the game and i think that's awesome dude and uh you know it makes the game more real world based i think the first game was really uh weird there wasn't a lot of hacking you could do maybe camera to camera shit if you're into spying on naked girls or whatever whatever your fetish is bro them asking real hackers for their hacking game really reminds me of grand theft auto 5 uh, and when and in the making of Grand Theft Auto 5, Rockstar reached out to real world uh, criminals, uh, you know, who are in prison and shit. They got them to come down to the studio, record voices, you know, for characters in the game. And they were like, yo, uh, do you think criminals would do this? Do you think they would do that? How would they talk? And I think Yusuf is doing the exact same thing for Watch Dogs 2. Uh, I think that's really awesome. And another thing they showed off in the trailer is that DeadSec is more relatable with pop culture with you know the artwork from one of the crew members named Sitara and then uh, the graphic designing and all that shit that they put out to get people to you know be on their side be on the side of dead sec on the side of good basically but yeah guys let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this trailer and what do you guys think of the breakdown leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it and uh, hit the subscribe bro if you want to see more uh, videos like this for all your watch dogs 2 news and whatever the f I want to upload Keep it locked to IGN.